beginning with the end in mind. I can't wait to get started on this cool, symmetrically festive designed car. Begin by folding your paper in half. When it's folded in half, I like to leave my hand at the top of the page so that as I start to draw the car, I'm only going to be drawing half of the car. Beside you, you'll go ahead and find a drawing sheet to help you get started as you begin drawing your car. It'll help you with some simple shapes as you begin. Some rectangles, some circles that can be used. It just gave me a good basic starting point as I began drawing out my car. Please feel free to make any additions or changes that you want to make your car personalized, unique, and creative. Once I've drawn it in pencil, I'm going to go ahead and take a black crayon and go over all of my pencil lines. I want to use my black crayon relatively thick so that I can transfer it to the other side of the page. So let's go ahead and fold it so the black lines are on the inside. I'm using my paintbrush because I didn't have a craft stick here at my house. Please use the side of your craft stick so that you can start to see the black crayon lines from one side of the paper to the other. Once you've got the black lines transferred to the other side of the paper, let's go ahead and take our black crayon and darken up the other side of the paper so that it's symmetrically balanced, the same on both sides. Now that you've got a basic starting point to begin making your car, feel free to add on any additional items to make it a little bit more festive, to make it creative, to make it unique, and design it yourself. I'm going to go ahead and add a bow. You might want to add a wreath. You might want to add some numbers or maybe a grill to your car. Um, maybe a license plate. The ideas are totally up to you. See, because at the beginning I saved some room with my hand so that I had enough room that I could begin using my haul or the way that my tree is carried home with my car. I like to start it out in pencil so that I can design it and change it and make it my own. So I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to um, draw out my idea and start designing the rest of my project. I like to start out with a light colored, or excuse me, a light pencil so that way if I want to change it, it's not so hard to erase. I always start in pencil drawing light until I've got it right. Once I like what I've drawn, I can always darken it up with my black crayon or darken it with a thicker pencil line. Again, feel free to design and create your own festive designed symmetrically balanced car. These are just some ideas to help you get started. Okay, now that I've got a tree, some gifts, a bow, and now a cardinal bird, I'm going to go ahead next and start to outline over top of all of my pencil lines so that it's all uniform and the same colors are outlined the same as my car. I think that outlining it makes it all uniform and it makes it so that everybody can see your pencil lines really well and makes it so that all of your um, drawing stands out and looks um, just makes your eye go to the direction of what you're trying to draw. I love that it's all uniform and outlined in black. You don't have to use a black crayon. You know, a Sharpie might work really well or um, a black colored pencil, whichever you have on hand. Now onto the fun part, the coloring. I grabbed some crayons and I had so much fun starting to add some more life to this black and white image. So grabbing some crayons, you can see that I'm adding some color, overlapping, maybe even adding some patterns and designs into my project really makes this my own and very fun and I get to make decisions on the way that I have my symmetrically balanced car. See, that's the purpose. 
please don't spend so much time worrying about making it look just right or making it just so because the purpose in this project is to have a symmetrically balanced car. Do the best you can. Now, I really had fun. If you have extra time today, I love this next step. This next step is taking it to a whole new level. I'm grabbing another crayon, like a darker purple, just so that it, my, my blue car isn't just such a light color, but instead I'm building up some color so that it becomes a little bit more interesting with the value changes in my car. Not only did I add some more color to my car, but I'm adding some more things into my background to make it look like my car is headed where. I get to become the designer and creator for where this car is headed. I added some trees, mountains, stars, and I had so much fun imagining where this car is headed. I put it on a road, added some evergreen trees, mountains in the background, stars into the sky, and grabbed my crayons once again and added some really cool features to the background of my car. Oh, I just love and am so pleased with the end result of this project. Instead of leaving my sky white, since it's kind of a snowy scene and a winter scene, I'm going to leave the ground white to make it look like snow and add some color into my sky. Ah, oh, I just love making this project. Thanks for watching. Do your best and have tons of fun. Happy art making.